Hi guys, today we're going to look at Martini by Turing Breaks. Uh, this was a Patreon request. It's very similar to Blackbird in the way that it's set up. So we've got these two main finger picking patterns that we'll go into. And we've got the chorus, the verse, and the uh, bridge. So we're going to look at the chorus first because it's the best place to learn one of the finger picking patterns. And then we'll dive into the verse. So uh, yeah, I'll go through a little playthrough and then we'll check it out. Okay, so for the chorus, we're just going to start holding this G with our ring finger, just holding the third fret of the E string, and that's it. That's all we're holding for our G. As I say, it's kind of similar to the Beatles, Simon and Garfunkel kind of vibe. So, in the right hand, this is where the work is. So we're going to play the E string, the bass E, and we're going to play the B string at the same time. So middle finger on the B string, thumb on the bass. Then we're going to play thumb on the D string, index finger on the G. So one, two, and come back to the bass, play it on its own, then play the B string on its own, then play the D, then the G. Three and four and. So all together. Okay, so we do that, we do one bar of that on the G. And then you can play D over F sharp down here, and C down here. But to get the sound that he has on the record, he plays D over F sharp by barring the seventh fret with his first finger on the bottom four strings, which doesn't really matter if you don't get the E string, because we're not going to play it. And coming in on the ninth fret of the A string. Finger picking pattern is the same apart from whenever before you were playing the bass E, now you play the A string. So we have one bar on the G, one bar on the D over F sharp, and then we come up to a C, we just play it like you play an F major 7 down the bottom starting on the 8th fret, so you have 8 on the B, 9 on the G, 10 on the D, and either thumb catching the bass note, or you can play a full bar chord E. And then we do two bars there. So it's G, D over F sharp, C for two bars. And we do that all four times. And if you want, you can do little variations on the C with your little finger. And then when we come up to the last one, when you get into the second bar of C, you just do a pluck and let it ring out. And then you're into back into the verse. So for the verse, we're going to be starting off looking at this, what I'm kind of calling the blackbird, because it's very similar to how they play that. And we're going to be looking right hand, so we're going to start here on the 7th fret of the uh, A string, catching the E here, and we're playing the 8th fret of the B string. And you're going to pick that with your thumb and your middle finger in the right hand. And then you pick the open G with your index finger. Okay. Then we keep the same shape, two and three. Now it widens a bit, you play three and five. You can use your little finger if you prefer. And then we come into G and it's pretty much the pattern. 
gonna we're gonna add a little thing in there. It's just the first half of the pattern. Then we're gonna pick the bass again. And then in the sort of where we were picking the B string before, in the and, the three and, we're gonna pick the D string and the B string together at the same time. And we're gonna hammer in the first fret of the B string, second fret of the D string. And then we're gonna take them off and pick it again. And then we finish off the pattern again. So then we're playing, sorry, other way around. So we're playing thumb on the bass, index on the G, thumb on the D, in, uh, middle on the B, oh, and back to the G. So that whole bit together really slow. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then we come into the C, we go back to our blackbird picking pattern. We're playing the a string again, and the B string, and then pick an open G. Then you just walk down, so your middle finger is holding the second fret of the A string, and it's open B. Then back to the C. And then we have D over F sharp, D7 over F sharp, sorry. Uh, which you can either play with your thumb and your uh, middle finger, or you can play with your ring finger and your middle finger taking the bass. And then we have two bars, I think, of the uh, pattern. Yeah, two bars of the pattern. So that's the second half. So all together, one, two, three, four. And they do it again. And then you're into the chorus. And lastly, the bridge. We're playing the pattern with one tiny variation. We have two bars of A minor followed by two bars of C. We're not gonna talk about the little walk-ins just yet. We'll add them in in a second. So we do the pattern normally for the first bar. And then the second time around, we pick the high E string with our ring finger. And apart from that, it's exactly the same. So instead of picking the B, you pick the E with your ring finger. And then if you want, you can add in variations. You can play the third fret. You could change it and play the B again and play the third fret. And it starts sounding like Led Zeppelin, but you get the idea. So we do that on the A minor. Same on the C. Back to the A minor, back to the C. And then we go back into the chorus. Well, it's the same as the chorus. And you do it twice.
The only other thing to add in are the run downs and run ups. He does a run down on the way in, which so he's finished his C. And then to start the pattern, he plays three, two, and then we're into the pattern. And then it's uh, just on the second C, I think. Yeah, then we play C. Back to the A minor. Once you've picked the open A with the high E, you walk back up. So you play open A, two, and then you're catching the C to start the pattern again. So from the A minor first bar, Last time on that with the walk downs. 